I'm gonna allow you to extend and retract it. Now this is a very expensive prop. No, no, <laughs> no, this is a, is a prop, so we're gonna be very careful with it once it's extended. And this is the button that you push to extend it. I'm gonna stand back just so that. So I just. Oh yeah, just that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This felt as cool as I thought it would. <laughs> and it looked as real up close as it does on camera. In the Star Wars universe, of course, these Jedi weapons work by channeling energy through a crystal to create a blade that can cut through basically anything. In our universe, filming the Star Wars movies, actors used these fighting prop sticks and then visual effects artists painstakingly added the glow in post-production. But for Disney parks, they somehow needed to make lightsabers real. It knows what angle you're moving through and it's gonna blink its lights a little bit to give it the feeling that it has moved from place to place. And we're also strobing it a little bit in general to give the life of flickering power. If two people have them, can the blades touch each other? So this uh, one is not used for battle. We have a stand-in for it when we have to have our stars moving it around quickly. This is more for the extension and retraction. So I should not, I, I you should, should not. not touch it. Much like a real lightsaber. Yes, you, you don't want to get burned. Of course. Right? Of, of course. course. Even though I now understood how they were doing this, it still felt like magic. Like you can see, the kid in me is just mesmerized. 